a defensive end in college. Harry Carson never missed a game in four seasons at South Carolina State. Selected by the New York Giants in the fourth round of the 1976 NFL Draft, he was immediately moved to the linebacker position in the pros. Carson won the starting middle linebacker position halfway through that rookie season and went on to be named to the All-NFL rookie team. An emotional player, Carson led by example both on and off the field. He led all Giants defenders in tackles five seasons and was named to the Pro Bowl nine times, including seven straight from 1982 through 1988. His best single-game performance came in 1982 in a Monday night game versus the Green Bay Packers in which he racked up 20 solo tackles and five assists. He accumulated 14 opponents' fumble recoveries during his career. Carson, as an inside linebacker, was a ferocious run-stopper. Known for his, all-out, style of play, he attacked onrushing blockers head-on in his pursuit of the ball carrier. Later in his career when he was joined by outside linebackers Lawrence Taylor and Carl Banks, there was no better linebacker trio in the NFL. Like Taylor, he was extremely difficult to defense in blitzing situations and he had the speed and agility to be an effective pursuit player, even when the play was directed away from his area of responsibility. In 1986, Carson finished second in total tackles for the Giants with 118 in the regular season and 23 in the playoffs. He recorded the ninth of his 11 career interceptions, had two quarterback sacks, two fumble recoveries, and two forced fumbles, as the Giants went on to defeat the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl XXI. Although he was a very consistent player, Carson seemed to produce top performances in key games. That was the case in New York's Super Bowl season. His interception and 12 solo tackles against the Washington Redskins on December 7 virtually assured the Giants of the NFC East title. It was also Carson who made the big play on the Giants' first half goal line stand against the Broncos in the Super Bowl when he stuffed Gerald Wilhite for no gain. Carson was one of the first practitioners of the Gatorade Shower which is when the coach of the winning team is doused with a cooler of Gatorade by some of the players following a win. The practice was started by his teammate Jim Burt in 1985 when Bill Parcells had Carson as a player with the Giants. He would have him at his side during the singing of the national anthem for good luck. In addition to his nine Pro Bowl appearances, Carson was named first or second team All-Pro six times and first or second team All-NFC six times. Bill Belichick, an assistant coach for the Giants for 12 years, who as head coach, led the New England Patriots to six Super Bowl victories, considered Carson the best all-around linebacker he ever coached.